we talked about how Alexa sounds. Mm. And uh, there are, uh, and we have done a lot of advances in our text to speech by using again neural network technology for it to sound very uh, human like. From and the individual texture of the sound to the the the, the timing, the tonality, the tone, everything. everything the whole I would think in terms of uh, there's a lot of controls in each of the places for how I mean the speed of the voice, the prosodic patterns, the. Uh, the actual smoothness of how it sounds, all of those are factored and we do a ton of listening tests to make sure it works that, but naturalness, uh, how it sounds should be very natural. How it understands requests is also very important. Like, and in terms of like, we have 95,000 skills or, uh, and if we have, imagine that, uh, and many of these skills, you have to remember the skill name mm-hmm. and say, Alexa, ask, uh, the tied uh, skill to tell me uh, X, right? Or uh, now, if you if you have to remove the skill name, that means the discovery and the interaction is uh, unnatural. Uh, and we are trying to solve that by uh, what we think of as, again, uh, this was, you don't have to have the app metaphor here. These are not mm-hmm. individual apps, right? Even though they're, so you ca- you're not sort of opening one at a time and interacting. So yeah. it should be seamless because it's yeah. voice. And when it's voice, you have to be able to understand these requests independent of the specificity, like a skill name. And to do that, what we have done is again, built a deep learning based capability where we shortlist a bunch of skills when you say, Alexa, get me a car. And then we figure it out, okay, it's meant for an Uber skill Mm -hmm. uh, versus a Lyft or uh, based on your preferences. And then you can rank the responses from the skill and then choose the best response for the customer. So that's on the more natural. Uh, other the examples of more yeah. natural is like we were talking about uh, lists, for instance. And you want to, you don't want to say Alexa, add milk. Alexa, add eggs. Yeah. Alexa, add cookies. Yeah. No, Alexa, add cookies, milk, and eggs, uh, and that in one shot, right? So that works. That helps with the naturalness. We talked about memory. Like uh, if you said. You can say, Alexa, remember, uh, I have to go to mom's house. Or you may have entered a calendar event through your calendar that's linked to Alexa. You don't want to remember whether it's a, in my calendar or did I tell you right. to remember this. something or some other reminder, <laughs> right? So you have to now, uh, independent of how customers create these events, it should just say, Alexa, when do I have to go to mom's house? And it tells you when you have to go to mom's house. No, that's that's a fascinating problem. Who is that problem on? So the, there's people who create skills. Uh-huh. Who's, who's tasked with integrating all of that knowledge together? So it, the skills become seamless. Is it the creators of the skills? So, or is it, some, the, is it an infrastructure that Alexa provides problem? Uh, it's both. I think the large problem uh, in terms of making sure your skill quality is high, uh, uh, we uh, that has to be done by our tools, because it's a, uh, so these skills, just to put the context, they are built through Alexa skill script, which is a self-serve way of building an experience on Alexa. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is like any developer in the world could go to Alexa skill script and build an experience on Alexa. Like a, if you're a Domino's, you can build a Domino skills. Mm-hmm. Uh, for instance, that does pizza ordering. When you have authored that, uh, you do want to now, uh, if people say Alexa open Domino's or Alexa ask Domino's, Domino's to get uh, a particular type of pizza, that will work, but the discovery is hard. You can't just say Alexa, get me a pizza and then uh, yeah. Alexa figures out what to do. Yeah. That latter part is definitely our responsibility in terms of when the request is not fully specific, how do you figure out what's the best skill or a service that can fulfill the customer's request? And it can keep evolving. Imagine going to the situation I said, which was the night out planning, that it, the goal could be more than that individual request that came. Uh, a, a pizza ordering could mean a night in, yeah. <laughs> where you're having <laughs> exactly. an event with your kids in their house. And you're, so this is welcome to the world of conversational AI. <laughs> <laughs>